Hey guys, today we'll be creating this character animation in After Effects. We'll be using simple techniques, so if you are a beginner, you'll find this tutorial useful. We have a lot of work to do, so let's get started! Hey there, so let's start creating this very cool animation. Keep in mind, this is a very easy character animation that you can apply even if you're a beginner. So let's get this thing started. So the first thing is I have my Illustrator file imported into After Effects and these are all the layers that my file has. I imported it already and now I will start parenting. So I'll speed up this process, but essentially you would like to parent every element to the master element. Like for example, the head layers will be parented to the head, um, the thumb and the hand will be parented to the arm and so on and so on. The next thing would be to pre-compose the leg because we'll be rigging it with Juic. So I'm just going to select all the layers of the leg and I'm going to pre-compose them. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other leg. Now I'm going to parent them to the body. For this animation specifically, I'll be creating a blink animation. So I have all these eye layers here that I'll pre-compose and I'll name that eye and then I'll parent all these face layers to the head. And then I will parent the head to the body. The next thing would be to rig the legs. So I'm going to isolate the left leg and I'm going to select the puppet tool and I'm going to add three pins one at the top of the leg, one in the middle, and one around here. Then I'm going to open up Duik and I'm going to click U so I can see all these puppet pins that I created. And I'm going to click on Add Bones. Now I'm going to select all these layers that were created from Duik and I'm going to click on Auto Rig. So that creates a controller that I can move around and animate my leg, but as you can see, it's reversed. I don't want the need to bend that way. So in this panel over here, just make sure you untick reverse. This is how the leg looks and that would be perfect for this video. The next thing would be to go find these bones that you created with Duik. The first bone that, that should be the puppet pin one should be parented to the body. And then you can hide all these elements because you won't need them. And now I'm just going to repeat the exact same process with the other leg. So the puppet two, then creating the bones, then auto rig, then clicking reverse, parenting this layer and then hiding all the layers. Okay, perfect. So now we have the rig ready. Keep in mind that normally you might want to rig the arms too, but for this specific animation, I'll be just rigging the legs and then I'll be animating everything else manually. I'm going to now find the body and I'm going to create a shape layer from the body and I'm going to parent the previous body layer to the new shape of the body because I don't want to go back and parent the layers again to the new layer. Now the first thing would be to animate the legs. So I will be animating this leg over here. So now go around the first second mark and just move your leg like this. Yes, we might need to adjust that later and I'll just adjust the pad a little bit like this. And then at the end, I'm just going to copy and paste the first keyframe because we want to be creating a loop. So let's adjust that a little bit. I just want to remove the stretch of the leg because it looks weird. So I will remove the auto stretch here. And this is how the animation of the leg looks. And I think it looks pretty good. Now from there, I would like to animate the body. So uh, I'm just going to click Y on keyboard so I can adjust the anchor point and I'm just going to move it here. And I'm going to open up the position, the rotation, and we'll be animating the pad, but that'll be later. So uh, easy, easy, these keyframes. And at around this time, let's adjust the body. Let's move it around here like this and let's rotate it okay that's a bit too much so like this okay and I'll copy and paste the first keyframes and then I'll be adding two more keyframes a few frames after the first keyframe uh, and he'll be leaning forward a little bit before he leans backwards so let me move these keyframes a little bit and I'm just going to make a few adjustments Just a quick reminder that all the project files are in the description and are free to download. 
and then I'm going to offset the rotation keyframes so I can have a smoother animation. Okay, so as you can see, the cable is not moving with the body because I forgot to parent that. And now we'll be adjusting the part of the body. So that way it looks a bit more realistic. So open up all the groups of the body and add keyframes for the pad. Great. Now click U on the keyboard to see all the keyframes. Let's start adding keyframes. So at around this time, I would like to adjust the pad of the t-shirt. Um, I'm going to speed this up a little bit, but essentially just animate the pad and make it look exactly as you want it to look and make it look realistic. Awesome. And now we will be animating the ponytail. Uh, let's move the anchor point by clicking U and then dragging the pin here on the left side. And then let me find the ponytail layer and we'll be animating the rotation. Yes, so at around this time, it should rotate like this. Uh, yes, and then at around this time, we should rotate it like this. And then would like to copy and paste this keyframe, move it here. And at the end, just copy and paste the first keyframe. Perfect. Now we would like to animate the eye. So as you can see, this is the structure of the eye. And I want these two layers, like these two lines to kind of blink you know so i will just move the anchor point of this one and then add keyframes for the position and rotation and then i'm going to create a shape layer for this layer yeah i'm going to delete the previous one and i'm going to add keyframes for the path for the position and rotation you don't need a scale by the way uh, and then i'm going to move the anchor point to be around here great so now move a couple of frames in and then rotate this one, rotate this one as well. Um, maybe a little bit more like this. And now we need to adjust the pad because it looks weird if he blinks away. So um, yeah, so adjust the pad and make sure it looks realistic. Okay, it looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to copy and paste the second keyframes. And then I'm going to copy and paste the first keyframes like this. Um, so it looks good, but now we would like to make sure we don't see the purple behind these lines. So I'm going to go back to my composition and I'm going to take this color. So that will be the color of his skin. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to create a couple of shapes two little shapes that should be behind these lines and one more yes uh, make sure they're not so huge now just add keyframes for the pad for these layers and then adjust the pad the next thing would be to animate the arm and the hand so uh, start by adjusting your anchor points And then add keyframes for the position and then for the scale and click U so you can see all the keyframes. Easy ease these. I'm going to move these around. And then around this time, I would like yeah the hand to be rotated and the arm to be rotated here as well. And then I'm just going to copy and paste the first keyframes. Okay, now I'm going to offset the keyframes for the hand because I believe it will look better and I'm going to add one more keyframe in between the first and the second and I'm going to now create a shape layer for the thumb because I will be animating the pad here as well so find the pad and then add the first keyframe and then the second keyframe you just want to adjust the pad of the thumb so it looks like he's clicking so yeah adjust it like this and then copy and paste the first keyframe now I'm just going to copy these three keyframes and paste them couple of times so it looks like he's clicking on his phone then I'll create a shape for the cable as well and then I'm going to animate the pad because as you can see the cable is disconnected from the phone and then yeah okay so let's just that that way okay perfect and then here I'm just going to copy and paste the first keyframe 
perfect so now i created a new object and i parent the controllers the body and the skateboard to the new object and i'm just going to add a simple keyframe for the position so add a keyframe at the start add a keyframe at the end and then in the middle just move the new object to the left like this perfect and the final thing would be to create a few animated lines that would be super easy so um, just draw a line then change the color I'm going to use this brown from the trousers like this adjust the stroke with great and now I'm going to open up this and I'm going to add the trim pad effect I'm going to animate the end starting at zero ending at a hundred and then the start should start at zero and end at a hundred as well now i'm just going to copy and paste this layer and change the position so that way we'll have a couple of lines okay great so now we have this animation ready it was a pretty simple animation that you can create in a couple of minutes uh, if you're a beginner so i hope that was helpful guys let me know in the comments below and see you next week